What's good? It's Jordan. Today I'll be talking to you about my view on the world. My view on the world, as I've grown up to an adult now, I've saw many various different times in this life and in this world where the Most High has blessed me, protected me, guided me, and strengthened me in times of trial and error. What I saw in this world many various different times is that there are people in this world that look at the world as a dog eat dog world. They look at this world as something where they can just gain for themselves. They can work under the analogy of using others in order to get what they want to get. They become boastful, arrogant, cocky because of their worldly achievements. There is many people who just go under this concept of, I have to use this person before this person uses me. And I'm not dealing with people in this world unless I can gain something from somebody, especially in business oriented settings. You know, when you're younger as a child, I know for myself, when I was a child, people used to be more genuine. People used to be more stronger in the faith. People used to be more caring. But as the world changes very rapidly, you see people are worshipers and lovers of themselves. They do not care about others. They only care about monetary gains and the things that come with monetary gains the properties, the cars, the clothes, the relationships, the networking, things that only provide themselves value and do not even help others. When I started to understand that people were moving towards this direction, I started to disassociate myself from the world and actually follow the Most High stronger and much more. On this journey, even for myself, I understood that even when following the Most High, you're gonna still deal with individuals in this life that operate on this format and on this wavelength. There are gonna be people in this world that continue to live by the world and continue to do things for their own personal gain. There's going to be people in this world who do not care about me, do not care about you, and just want everything for themselves. If they're able to step on you and step on myself in order for them to gain more things, more properties, more material possessions, more monetary gains, they will do so. I've learned that in this time period, there are many people who do not believe in the Most High. They do not care to believe in the Most High. They do not want to believe in the Most High. They believe the things that they feel that they can see they believe that they have the ability to only make a way for themselves and they do not need to follow the Most High and follow the Most High's plan. They feel that following the Most High is just one big quote unquote circus act and a fairy tale and they believe that they have the ability to do whatever they need to do in this life in order for them to see themselves as gods. Anytime that you're dealing with somebody, especially in my own personal experience and situations, people will ask me what I believe in and people will ask me what I know and what I understand. And when I tell them about the grace that the Most High has provided, when I speak to them about the Most High, they often get irritated, annoyed, angry, and defensive. And for me, when people speak on what they believe in, even though it's outside of what I believe in, I do not get these negative character traits. I hear what people have to say. And most importantly, I ask questions. When I hear what someone has to say and they provide their own analogy behind what they believe in, they believe wholeheartedly that I should just believe what they're saying blindly. They believe that all their opinions that they say are correct and that I should follow behind it. But the minute I start asking them questions about their opinions, about their analogies and their ideologies in what they serve, then they get 
upset, defensive, and annoyed. So I've learned that in this life, especially in this world right now, people are going through their own things. They're going through their own situations and their own problems, and they just want to bring other people into those situations, into those problems. And sometimes they may go under the victim mindset in order for them to manipulate you or manipulate myself in order for us to be in agreement to what they may be dealing with in this world. Sometimes the things that they may even be dealing with may be problems and situations that they cause on themselves. And with those problems and situations that they may cause on themselves, they may try to bring others into it in order for other people, including myself, to be feeling sympathetic towards them. But I analyze situations on a different level before giving opinions and I do research and I bring these things to the most high so I can actually understand the situation and what's going on. I will not follow anybody who is telling me something and expecting me to blindly believe and follow in what they believe in without me bringing it to the most high. And that's the thing in this world, people may follow what they want to follow. But the minute that you are following the true and living God, the minute you are following the most high, the minute that you are actually putting things into perspective, they have a problem with that. Many times there are people in this world that may try to convince you that you have to do certain things in order for you to gain rewards, in order for you to gain achievements, accolades. But in reality, those things mean nothing to the most high in the grand scheme of things. I've realized that in this world, you cannot trust people and you have to trust the most high and place your faith and trust in the most high. Because if people are being in accordance to the enemy's plan and following the enemy and not following the most high, all they can do is just lead you towards the path of destruction. All they can do is lead you towards the path that does not strengthen you. When you're in this world and you're following the most high, understanding the most high, then you start to see what is going on in this world. You start to see the greed, you start to see the destruction, you start to see the envious and jealousy towards others in this world who may be actually following the most high. And you start to see this negative character traits from people who may be dealing with their own things. A lot of times in this world, we've got to a spectrum where it's just jealousy and envy. You know, there's people who aren't doing good and the minute that they talk to you, they may see that your stress level may be lower. You may be more peaceful. You may be more calm. You may be just in accordance to the will of the Most High and they may not like that. They want you to feel the same way how they feel. So they may be jealous and envious of you. Understand that when you're being provided faith and favor from the Most High, nobody can stop that. Even when people try to stop it, nobody can stop it. But these are the things that we may have to go through in this life, in this world, in order for us to understand God's greatest plan. See, what we go through in this world is because this world is fallen. We live in a fallen world and a fallen society. And in this fallen world and fallen society, you are gonna meet many various different characters that the enemy presents to you. But what I will say is you will meet people who are on the right side, who are also following the most high. We can also provide you the ability to see things from a different perspective. God will and God does provide people in this world, in this fallen world, the ability to actually speak with you, show you the way, provide you insight, provide you knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, because God has the ability to do these things. I've saw it in my own personal life, and I saw how the Most High worked in my personal life, even going through this treacherous world, this dog-eat-dog -dog world. The Most High is still able to provide through all these trials and tribulations. So. My view on the world is there's going to be 
many various different negative situations and negative people since the world is a fallen world but also it's best that we understand that even through all these negative things the most high understands this and still provides the protection grace and favor granted for us to move in accordance to his will and his way even though this world is fallen we still have to make the best of this life that god provides us every day that i wake up i still make the best of what god provides me and i still understand that even though many of us in this world may go through many various messed up situations at the end of the day the life that we may live in this world is small in accordance to what the plan that god has for us when we understand this we're able to break down situations we're able to break down problems that we may go through and actually look past these problems and situations because at the end of the day these problems and situations are only minuscule it's best for us to understand that in the greater scheme of things and in greater situations we can work through these situations we could work through these problems and when we're provided protection and grace from the most high we could defeat these problems in these situations everything in this world that we may go through we're able to defeat it following the most high understanding the most high and navigating this world and this life in the proper direction god provides us the ability in this world to walk past all situations and problems that we encounter in this world and in this life so even though this world may be treacherous in my opinion we're still able to defeat the plan and the plot that the enemy may have for us in this world today i want to read these scriptures to you and i hope that these scriptures can help us in our own daily personal life john 16 33 i have said these things to you that in me you may have peace but in the world you will have tribulation but take heart i have overcome the world matthew 6 24 no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will devote to one and despise the other you can't serve god and money understand that in this life in this world understand that when you start to understand that this world is corrupt when this world will engulf itself in the evil that it may present we have the ability to choose the right side when we love the world when we love the things in the world when we care about the world we get engulfed with the world but when we understand that our love for most high is stronger and further than what the love for the world is then we are on the right side no matter the situations that i may go through the situations that you may go through the situations that we all may go through we're still able to walk past the things of this world and move forward and move ahead and move on even though my view on the world is that the world is negative people in the world are negative but you still can find people who serve the most high and God will still provide you people who serve the most high. It's best that we take that into account that in this world, let's not focus on the world, but focus on the things that are eternal, that God provides us spiritually, mentally, and physically. And when we understand those things, we understand that the most high has a hold on our life and places us in the best position possible understand that we are protected and guided through the worst times in this world and only god can do these things for us i want to thank you for watching